guys thank you for joining onyx food here welcome back please remember to subscribe like this video and also share this video with your friends in today's video i'm going to show you how to make oferweri this is a very popular soup among the Igbos, but commonly prepared among the oweri people I discovered that whenever Oferweri is prepared, there is usually a big controversy. The disagreement simply because of the vegetable use for this soup. Some people argue, okay, we use Okazi for this soup. Some other people say we use Ogu. Some other people say we use Uziza. And you get to hear this, we combine Okazi with Uziza or we combine Uziza with Ogu leaves. The disagreement keeps going on and on. You get to hear someone say, I'm a weary person, I've been cooking this soup ever since, this is what we've been using. I just wish we can agree on one thing instead of suggesting different vegetables for this soup. I actually learned this soup from my neighbor, she's an Oweri lady, so she taught me how to make this soup using Okazi and Uziza. So this is what I'm going to work with. Whatever you are used to, whatever you've been preparing it with, you can use any of those vegetables, but I'm going to be using Uziza and Okazi to make this soup. Basically, to make Oferweri, you will need some boiled cocoa. This is a very important ingredient in this soup. You use the cocoa to thicken the soup. You also need some ground crayfish, a sauteed meat. So, I'm using offals and few parts of beef, stock fish, dried fish, palm oil, blended pepper, dried prawns, stock cubes, Uziza leaves. Okazi Oguri Oguri is a flavorful spice in Oferweri, so you will need this Feel free to add some snails if you can source for them. Let's get cooking Now to make Oferweri, you are going to bring your washed beef into a pot You are also going to combine the stock fish together to cook You will need to season this with some blended pepper. You can use dried pepper going to add in two stock cubes you're also going to add in a little salt just to test once you've added that just toast the meat a little bit so everything combines add a cup of water to the meat then place it on heat cover the lid and leave it to boil After you boil the meat for about 35 minutes and if the water has reduced, you are going to add more water to it. Add the dry prawns into it. Now you are going to cook this for 10 minutes more so that the meat becomes soft completely. Now add in the blended crayfish, in the oguri, allow this to dissolve in the stock. Also add in about 2 cooking spoons of palm oil. Now you are going to stay the contents then. Let this cook for 5 minutes until the palm oil dissolves completely. After this has cooked for a few minutes, you are going to bring in the pounded cocoa yam into the contents. You can use a spoon or your fingertip to drop this into the content. Lower the heat. And let the content simmer on a medium heat while you watch the cocoa yam dissolve in the stock. You can see the cocoa yam is dissolving gradually. So before it completely dissolves, we are going to add in the dried fish. I didn't add this because I didn't want it to break down into the soup. Now you are going to come back to the soup stage properly. Then you're going to test for seasoning. If it needs more, you can add. So I'm going to add in one stock cube. Have a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now I'm not going to add salt. I'm just going to stay this. Mm, I think I like the test. It smells so good. Now you're going to bring in the okazi or whatever vegetable you're using. So I'm using okazi. If the soup is too thick, you can add more water. As I told you, you can add snail to this soup. I'm also adding in the uziza. 
you're going to leave the soup to cook for three minutes now you can put off heat and your ofeweri is ready so guys this was my simple way to prepare ofeweri ofeweri is really amazing i love this and i know you are going to love it too this goes well with a bar semolina you can pay this with any of your favorite staple I hope to see you soon. Do have a wonderful time. Stay tuned. Bye.